there is a lot uh, that is happening on the marketplace and probably the most important thing today in 2014 is the emergence of uh, 4K. It's about 4K resolution for sure, so the, re the resolution is much better than what uh, we have with HD. It's uh, evolution for the TV manufacturer for sure. Mm -hmm. they, they like to be able to sell a new generation of product and they are preparing themselves to do so. But if you are looking at at that situation from an end user point of view, that's probably going to be a little bit different because it's not only about resolution. Uh, it probably other elements will be important in winning that battle of the new generation of uh, TV experience in the home. Quality of the image in particular, uh, rendering of the contrast and those kind of things, which are largely influenced by technologies like HDR. So eye dynamic range that is really changing the, the type of rendering we can have in the, li in the living room uh, in terms of contrast. And it's probably the combination of 4K together with HDR that is going to be uh, very interesting for the end user and that is going to motivate them in order to move to that new generation TV set coming in, in volume in the marketplace in 2016, 2017 those different elements are not moving exactly at the same pace because these are different technologies. But there is one thing that is quite uh, common across the board, which is uh, our ability to get our technology standardized. And uh, there uh, we are progressing along, uh, along the different front, uh, 4K obviously, which is uh, a done deal, but uh, then there is HDR. And, and there are other technologies because I spoke a lot about HDR, but there is uh, what we can do in order to optimize the color uh, range, uh, like uh, white color gamut, for example, is something that is also changing to a large extent, or can change the experience in, in the, the home with the new generation television. So all that is in the standardization process, but we are uh, well on our way to be able to work on the demonstrations and the pilots this year and next year to secure the volume in 2016, 2017. So I'm quite confident that the, the end user customer, and at the end they are deciding, uh, are going to have the, the right level of appetite in order to make this a success if we look at the combination of those different technologies. Not 4K on its own, not HDR on its own, not white color gamut on its own, but a combination of all three is definitely a value proposition that is making a huge difference compared to the current television set and the current TV experience that we have in the home.